what's good guys i'm going to show you in this video how to stop double posts in madden 22. what's going on guys my name is cody and i want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if this is your first time visiting my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button i post videos every single day on youtube that are designed to help you become a better madden player on both on offensive and defensive tips so um in this video like i said we're talking about how to stop gun bunch double post this is an excerpt or sample out of my 335 odd defensive guide if you're looking to get better on defense i would highly encourage you to get my nickel 335 odd defensive ebook it has the best pressures in the entire game by far and it also has some of the most unique coverage concepts i absolutely love this year um, to just kind of blanket and cover the whole entire field so that being said let's go ahead and dive into the video if you want to get the guide it, there's a link in the description where you can go get it and the defense that we're going to be coming out and we're going to come over over two coverages okay the first one is going to be cover six actually maybe a couple we'll do cover six we're going to talk a little bit about cover three cloud we got tampa two and then cover four drop so those are our audibles and we're going to audible into that now one other thing real quick i want to note is if you take a look at my uh package here you're going to notice that i have the strong safety inside package on this is going to help with um giving me a couple of different adjustments that i can put my safeties on and something i'm starting to do out of gun bunch is actually basically man up the solo receiver and user the safety myself so that being said we're going to come out in lb cross three show two and we're going to audible um, into different plays now the first defense that we're going to audible into in this video is going to be the cover six okay and all we're going to do with this is we're going to spread our defensive line crash our defensive line to the right and then i like to go ahead and sh uh, base align and show blitz and the reason i like to base align and show blitz is because it's going to give me different adjustments you see here that i could take this guy right here uh carlton davis and i could put him in something like a middle third or a middle read or a deep half or i don't put him in underneath zones i can put him in safety type type zones um same thing when I bring this guy into the box. You see here, I can put him into a middle read zone. So what I like to do with this is I actually like to take this safety here, um, and you could do this with any of these players, but basically I just wanna show you the power of a middle read zone. So what we're gonna do on this left side is we're just gonna kinda, I like to drag this guy kinda right in here and then just man him up. The reason I like to do this is this can kinda bait them into throwing the ball. Uh, to that guy on a fade or something if you don't want to do that then just bring him over the top it's fine um, but I personally really do like to do something like this or even something like this just to kind of keep that inside leverage if he runs a post route okay so that's pretty much your setup the only other thing I wanted to say was like I said I wanted to show off the mid read zone so um, you can put any of these players into a middle read zone for the purposes of this video I'm gonna put Levante David into the middle read zone and then I'm gonna drop Golston here into a, th a three rec hook so the way you do that is by putting him on a bluff blitz assignment and then from there I would just use or either one of these guys on the left hand side of the field and I just want to show you how this plays double post so first things first is we're gonna focus on the actual post route and then we're gonna go over the rest of the routes on the play so you'll see here that this post if I try to throw it the mid read will never ever let that happen it completely it completely boxes the post drop the other thing that I want to show about that just real briefly here is all I'm going to do now is just, I'm just going to put the middle read out there because I just want to show how this middle read works. Um, the middle read zone I think is one of my favorite little complementary zones. It really does do a good job against post routes and it also does a decent job against crossing routes. So watch this crossing route to R1. You'll see the mid read kind of carries him and puts him right into a good position to get picked off by the by the the other zone on that side so in theory your middle read zones really can be very effective for carrying crossing routes now uh, what I want to do one real quick is I want to just kind of give you um, you know just a little glimpse of the how far you can go with this so uh, for example let's say we wanted to blitz out of the 335 odd um, and we wanted to send some pressure well, we're just gonna basically shade our coverage down and then we're going to drop this guy into a middle read zone Okay, now we know that that middle read zone is going to do a really good job of defending anything in terms of over the middle like a post or crosser. So now I can take this guy Edwards and I could put him into something like a deep half. Um, you know, I could do whatever I want to, right? I could put him into really anything. Um, you know, I, I personally probably would recommend to go ahead and just put him into um, either a 
outside half, like a deep half to the right would be my recommendation. So you see it kind of give you this look. And then with this guy on the outside, we can now put him into an outside quarter zone. And we don't have to worry too much about getting bombed over the, over the middle of the field because um, obviously we're sending quick pressure. So really all we're responsible for now is this running back because the middle read is going to take away everything else. So snap of the ball, and I want you to watch. I'm just going to try to throw the crosser. And you see I did was able to complete it, but there's a guy right there, right? I mean, there's a guy right in the middle of the field waiting for that. Obviously, it's going to carry it. And what I really like about this is this gives me time to get back here. So you've got great pressure. Obviously, we got great pressure from 35 behind. But take a look. The snap throw is no longer there. The snap throw is no longer there. So I'm recovering, and at this point right here, I can recover in this little area and take that crossing route, and he'll actually pass that off to me, and he'll take the post route. So it's a great way to defend crossers and post routes uh, from Gun Bunch. That being said, let's kind of continue the discussion here on this on this defense. And the next defense I want to, or the next component of this that I want to show off, is how we can stop the drag route. So. One of my favorite things to do to stop drags has always been to basically take this guy and put him on a, um, a hard flat or a curl flat. And the reason I like to do that is because it's gonna take away a couple things. It's gonna take away the running back route. And so what you can also do with this is basically have two hard flats. So this is kind of what it looks like. Do something like this and then Basically, your user in here. So if there's any crosser that goes to the left, you're going to go get the crosser. Otherwise, you're free to help with any flood concept to the right. But this coverage right here to me is super effective. Um, let me show you this out of uh, double post. And what you'll see here is I'm just going to kind of come into here and take a look. See that hard flat sit right there? And what I like about that is the inside hard flat. So inside hard flats are really good at taking away things like um most popular things from gun bunch this year which are running back out routes and slot drag routes most people aren't running wheel routes this year if they are you are you have freedom to be able to go defend that if you want to you can go get the running back out uh, wheel if you need to but the thing that they're running is they're running this they're running a running back out so look at that hard flat just go get him he doesn't necessarily pick it off every time but he at least gets him for a yard or two and it's going to deter that throw so that's the beauty of this cover six defense and you still have great matching principles on the opposite side of the field now you've got a really good defense um in my opinion for stopping any kind of um oh just any any kind of like flood to the right side but you've also got that post route taken away and then let me just give you one final thing on this so let's say they go to the crosser now you're just kind of peeling back into that area and right there i wasn't able to get back there but it's partially because i'm trying to use two controllers but you take the crosser and that's it that's all they have so that's cover six now uh, i want to show you how to do something very similar out of cover three cloud so cover three cloud uh, i love this coverage the one thing i don't like is you don't want to use this safety ideally you would rather um, you can, but what I wanted to show is a couple things. So I wanted to first illustrate one thing, and that's the verticals bomb. So like if they go to the verticals play and try to bomb out of cover three cloud, um, you'll see here that they still can do it, but it's not as open. Um, that safety will actually climb him a little bit better. But I want to show you the relationship real quick between the mid read and the inside third. So if I take David and put him in a mid read zone, now I want you to watch. So I'm in the same coverage and I'm gonna run that cover three beater again. And I just wanna show you, you'll see that the safe, see, see how that, see how they kind of muddy that up. It's not as open, it's not as clear, uh, it's not as crystal clear as they might've thought. The other thing that you can do with this is the base align trick. So if I base align here, and I'm just gonna call off the dogs cause I wanna show the coverage. So let's just say I baseline and I put a mid read on that side of the field. Number one, we know that that's going to take away anything from a post route perspective. The question is, how does it do against this vertical? You see here, it's open, okay? But there's an easy way to stop it. And the easy way to stop it is to go ahead and what we're going to do, if I go to cover three cloud, maybe, yeah. So when you base align it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this guy, Davis, put him in an outside third to the right. That's why we have that package. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this guy in a cloud. 
and then we can take this guy and put him into a middle read zone. So now you've got a very interesting little coverage, and I like to put this. I like this to be in a cloud flat. You can move him over, or do whatever you need to do, obviously. And then if you wanted to drop this defensive end um, into a hard flat or a vertical hook, you certainly could do that as well. And then I will typically use her white. If you wanted to kind of stick with the theme, we could man him up and then come down like this if we wanted to. Um, but I typically will use her this guy. Okay, so that being said, let me just show you the bomb again. This is really good for double pose, really good for, really good for double pose. Um, but what you'll see is this time the inside third will actually play him rel relatively well. If I click on there, that's a swat um, almost every single time. So that's kind of a, an additional little trick that you can do. And then we showed this one. Uh, this is Tampa 2. This is where we just basically take these guys, put these guys on outside thirds. And then what I like to do is take this guy because I like to have a mid read. So I like to take this guy if I, if I am base aligning. The other thing you could do is you could run your mid read from this guy. So you'll see here I'm going to put him in a mid read now. And then I'm going to take David and drop him in the deep blue. When you drop David in the deep blue, I would highly recommend moving him over just a little bit. Um, it just helps a little bit with the coverage. But now, again, double post. Watch that mid read. Really make it difficult to throw that route. Okay? So that's how you kind of shut down double post. It's how you shut down some of the stuff from Gun Bunch. Um, I would recommend that cover six in combination with that cover two. The cover three cloud is good if they're not running a lot of verticals. Um, if they are running a lot of verticals, it's not a big deal. All you need to do, um, if they're if they're running a lot of um, if they're running a lot of verticals on you, then all you need to do is just take this guy right here and put him in a deep half zone. And then what you can do is basically go ahead and drop this guy into a hard flat. So you basically got a Mabel coverage on that side. And then over here, you're gonna have a cloud flat. And then what I would recommend is you're basically the other flat on that left side there. But you've got really good coverage because you have your mid read on the field and that mid read takes away so much in terms of the posts and things like that. So as you can see, I mean, it's just it just cages double post. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get the 335 odd defensive game plan, there's a link in the description below. It'll give you the entire access to the whole defense. And if there, anything gets patched, if zones change uh, and they start to work differently, if the blitz changes and it starts to work differently, we need to update it. You get free updates throughout the course of the season. So it's a 335 odd ebook that is going to be consistently effective for the course of the Madden 22 season. So as things get patched, we'll update you um, with things. But it's got the best blitzes that I've ever seen uh, in terms of the game, at least this year. And it's also got, I think, the opportunity to create phenomenal coverage from the cover six to the cover three cloud and the Tampa two to that strong safety package that allows us to make a lot of different adjustments that will help significantly in trying to shut down the best offense in the game, which is the gun bunch.